Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Srimali Fernando presenting our study on practice and healthcare, related, healthcare provision related associations of diabetes self care among patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Study was conducted by myself and Dr. Manjula Dhanansuri. On diabetes mellitus or status of the country, we have a current prevalence of 10% of diabetes mellitus in Sri Lanka. And recent studies have shown that diabetes mellitus lead to adverse health outcomes following COVID-19 infection. But we don't have such scientific evidence for data in Sri Lanka yet, but we have observed that a considerable number of COVID-19 deaths had an underlying diabetes mellitus as well. On self-care, WHO defines self-care as the ability of the people to promote and maintain their health, prevent diseases with or without the support of a healthcare provider. So this was a cross-sectional study conducted among 456 systematically selected patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus attending a diabetes clinic in a tertiary care hospital in the southern part of Sri Lanka. We used an pre-tested interviewer administered questionnaire, which contained a culturally adapted version of the summary of diabetes self-care activities tool and questions on distance travel to the clinic, which category of healthcare worker provided self-care education and education sessions and the frequency of education sessions conducted on self-care. Moving on to the results. Mean age of the study participants was approximately 56 years and 75% of them were females. Nearly one, two third of them were having diabetes mellitus for more than five years. On practice of self-care, only 15.6% of the patients were physically active as recommended and only 30% had a healthy diet. However, we observed that 55.6% of the patients were practicing food care as recommended, and nearly 81% of them were compliant to their medications. Self-monitoring of blood glucose was only assessed among the patients who were on insulin. That was 16% of the study participants. And the reason for this was that it was only among the patients who are on insulin that in self-monitoring of blood glucose is recognized as an effective component of treatment. So among those 71 patients who were on insulin, we observed only 39% of patients have self-monitored blood sugar as recommended by their doctor, while 51% of them have not self-monitored blood sugar at all. We found that physical activity, healthy diet, food care and medication compliance was significantly associated with self-care education and distance travel to the clinic. So in conclusion, practice of self-care on physical activity, healthy diet and self-monitoring of blood glucose was low among patients and accessibility to services and differences in educating them affects their self-care level. So we recommend that the healthcare should reach out to the patients, make the services easily accessible, and offer well-structured education in the routine diabetes mellitus clinical management in order to promote self-care, which would be a cost-effective strategy in mitigating the diabetes mellitus-related burden of COVID-19 in the new normal. Thank you.